This is the news from Trek Zone. Welcome to our bite-sized science fiction production news wrap-up. New York Comic Con is on this weekend and the Star Trek panel wrapped up about an hour before recording today's show. There's Discovery, Prodigy and Picard news to dive into, so let's do it. Let's start with Discovery. Anthony Rapp, Wilson Cruz, Michelle Paradise, Rod Roddenberry and Alex Kersman introduced us to our first, first look at Season 5. Sonequa Martin-Green beaming in live from the Discovery set. In casting news, Elias Chifixis, Eve Harlow and Callum Rennie have signed on for the fifth season, with Cruz saying that everyone has grown closer together in the past five years, that they're on an adventure this season and we're watching everyone trying to figure it out uh, while discovering themselves. Martin Green adding that Burnham and Book's relationship this season will be complicated with the line between personal and professional being crossed. Fans in the audience with Senequa's approval have called for a musical episode for Wilson and Rap. Prodigy then took to the stage with Kate Mulgrew, Brett Gray, Jamelia, Jamil joining Rod and Alex. We have another look into the second half of season one, premiering in just over two weeks' time. Janeway versus Janeway, this is going to be fun. The, continue, the crew continue to run from the Dauntless, exploring new worlds as Gwyn remembers everything about her past. Brett Gray says it's going to be an epic second act, but you'll be left with more questions than answers. Jamelia noting that the show is beautifully written and animated, with Mulgrew chiming in that the Hageman Brothers series showrunners are geniuses. And in huge news, Edward Jellicoe returns, with actor Ronnie Cox reprising the role of hardline Captain Jellicoe from TNG's Chain of Command. He's now an admiral. Let's get into Star Trek Picard. The third and final season, shot concurrently with season two, as Sir Patrick Stewart winds down his acting. From February 16, we'll see how this 10-part TNG movie will play out. Showrunner Terry Madelis saying that there's plenty of time for each of our next-gen alum to breathe and tell a story that's befitting to each of them. In the trailer released, we meet Anne Amanda Plummer, daughter of the late, great Christopher, General Chang to Star Trek audiences who is our big bad for the season. And joining on what I can only assume is the antagonist side is Brent Spiner as Law and Moriarty as well. Jordy is now married with two daughters that we'll get to meet, one played by Burton's real flesh and blood in Micah Burton. Beverly Crusher has been working hard, she, uh, Gates McFadden says, but she is being hunted. So that will be interesting to see how that all plays out. Uh, Madelis saying that this is all organic, it's natural the way everything comes together. So very much looking forward to this. And Madelis, uh, responsible for the episodes that I've really loved about Picard. Now he's really heavily involved in season three. Uh, so looking forward to seeing what comes out of this. They're saying it's 10 episodes, but it could have been a movie. Uh, so a 10 hour movie uh, is very, very cool. Hopefully it's a little bit better done than Kenobi, just saying. Madelis commented that Stewart had a bombshell idea as well. That hasn't been revealed yet, but he did note that he thinks that this will be a satisfying conclusion to the story arcs that we've come to know, and we will be passing the baton to new captains. Now, as I near 1,000 episodes of Trek's own podcasts, and with these announcements this morning from New York Comic Con, I'm reminded of recent exclusive interviews I've recorded with the newest members of the Star Trek family. Each have given us just a little taste of what's to come in forthcoming seasons as well. From Picard's production designer Dave Blass telling us about his almost confusion with the focus on the Stargazer's lack of carpet in Season 2 and a little bit about Season 3 as well. Ava Blackwell talking about joining Discovery as an alien bridge officer extra before moving to become a human character with more involvement. Uh, in the series there as well. She's also performing in the background of Strange New Worlds. I also spoke with Anthony Rapp as well from Vegas about Stamets and the, grow of, uh, the growth of the show coming in season five. And to Oz Comic Con a few weeks after Vegas where Jess Bush, Nurse Chapel, was attending. We spoke of the second Strange New Worlds season that has finished filming and what's in store for the crew of the Enterprise in the breakout hit that is the latest addition to the Star Trek franchise. Each of these podcasts are available in a special blog post on Trek Zone right now with links in the description of this video on YouTube. Check them out if you haven't already. You never know what detail you might be able to catch. 
Uh, well, a big change in format is coming to Trekzone soon, so support the channel monthly by clicking join under every video of ours on YouTube to become a member. Click thanks to contribute once via paper, uh, via YouTube, or jump onto the trek.zone slash PayPal to contribute directly to the 20th anniversary budget, which is happening July 10 next year. Do it today. Have my eternal gratitude, behind the scenes goss, and early access to podcasts. I'm Matt Miller. This is Trekzone.